Leftover Blind Box The popularity of blind box culture has transformed the consumer market from everything can be blind box to everything needs a blind box. In recent days, the leftover blind boxes that have recently emerged on the streets of Nanjing have quickly become a new trend for young people's consumption. This catering consumption format, which combines low prices, green environmental protection, and blind box experience, although still in the exploratory development stage, has brought unique business concepts and reference value to the recovering catering industry. At 9 p.m. on May 31st, Li Xiang, a citizen of Nanjing, came to Qianqing Peach Cake in Leifengli, Qinghua District, and took a dim sum blind box that had been snapped up earlier in the small program, Cherish the Magic Bag. The reporter saw that in the magic bag, priced at 11.9 yuan on the mini program, the salesperson placed a purple rice box priced at 19.8 yuan, and a half-cooked cheese priced at 16 yuan. The surprising discounts have made dessert enthusiasts, like Li Xiang loyal fans of platforms such as Treasure Food Magic Bag and Leftover Blind Box. The Leftover Blind Box refers to food and beverage stores such as bakeries and delicatessen that sell unsold food on the day before closing through online channels at a lower price than the original price. Due to the use of blind boxes, each meal may have different dishes, and consumers can book through the platform and pick it up at the store at the time specified by the merchant. This emerging catering model, which combines online temporary food and blind boxes, has gradually entered the vision of young consumers in China since its rise abroad in 2019. Currently, mature platforms such as DZZ and Rice Blind Box have emerged. In Nanjing, the leftover blind box is still a new thing. The reporter's visit found that most of the leftover blind boxes platforms were launched in Nanjing less than a month ago. At present, the number of stores available for the Cherish Food Magic Bag platform has exceeded 50 in the city, but different from the temporary cooked food sold in other regions, the leftover blind boxes in Nanjing are mainly bread dim sum, and each company provides a small number of blind box orders every day, most of which are only 2 to 4, only about 100 blind boxes are sold through the Treasure Food Magic Bag in Nanjing every day. The staff of Qianqing Peach Crisp said that because the store only sells too many products produced on the same day in blind boxes, the daily quantity is limited, with only two servings. Every day, you need to make an appointment first, and after sales, you have to rush. It's difficult to get a well-known brand like Wenshu if it's one minute late, Li Xiang said. Different from the platform channel, on WeChat and other social software, the leftover blind box resource group organized by individuals has more varieties of dishes traded. In addition to bread dim sum, there are more Chinese and Western cooked food. The merchants on the leftover blind box platform are basically brand stores that have signed agreements with the platform, and the cooperation objects of the individual group are mainly independent small stores. We will contact small shops such as personal bakeries and bun shops in advance, confirm the quantity of leftovers for today around 6 p.m. every night, and then publish it to the group for quick purchase, Wang Jia, a part-time food buyer, told reporters. At present, there are over 200 customers in her WeChat group, mostly young people aged 20 to 30. The popularity of the leftover blind box lies in its discovery of wealth codes for young consumer groups, such as low prices, blind boxes, and environmental protection, and its integration. Long before the emergence of the leftover blind box, temporary food was already a favorite among young people, with low prices being its biggest advantage. Every night around 7 p.m., the mall starts to discount cooked food, Food like roast chicken, pizza and roast duck will be sold at nearly half price, and a meal will only cost more than 10 yuan, Jin Biyu, an employee of Walmart in Zinjiku, Nanjing, told reporters, generally, young people queue up to buy them for dinner or supper, and they will basically buy out two counters before 9 o'clock every night. According to enterprise inspection data, the number of wholesale and retail entities with the keyword, discount, has increased by 25,926 in the past three years, the number of industry representative, good specialty, stores has exceeded 500 and plans to continue increasing the number of stores this year. The feedback from these markets all indicates the rapid development and popularity of the temporary economy that focuses on low prices in recent years. Young people are generally price sensitive in their daily consumption, and they are willing to enjoy delicious food and save expenses by purchasing leftover blind boxes. The platform sells temporary food or unsold inventory at a discount with relatively low prices, which can provide affordable food choices and meet the consumption needs of young people in relatively tight economic situations. Said Kong Chuanxi, 
a professor and PhD in economics at Nanjing University of Finance and Economics. On the basis of temporary food, the leftover blind box further introduces the blind box business format and environmental attributes. In the current consumer market where everything can be blind boxed, blind boxes have attracted trendy young customers for temporary food. However, in today's public environmental consensus of cherishing food, opposing waste, and a low-carbon life, the environmental attribute of leftover blind boxes also has high market value. In the catering market, the leftover blind box precisely caters to the psychological needs of young consumers seeking novelty, diversity, and uniqueness. Through the blind box, it brings consumers an unexpected surprise, and with the sharing of leak detection results on social media, it adds interactive and social fun to purchasing the leftover blind box, said Yushiro, president of the Jiangsu Catering Industry Association. The inspiration of the leftover blind box for the catering consumer market of young people is not only due to its low price. Nowadays, young people exhibit some contradictory characteristics in terms of consumption. On the one hand, they are willing to spend a lot of money on buying sneakers, luxury goods, etc., or have a higher unit price for blind boxes. On the other hand, they are also eager to save money, like comparing prices, participating in shopping and social e-commerce activities to save money. This seemingly contradictory consumption behavior can be explained by young people's consumption philosophy. Kong Chuanchi believes, young people are willing to express their personality and sense of belonging by purchasing specific products, and social value plays an important role in their consumption decisions. To do a good job in catering for young people, the industry needs to pay attention to the changes in their consumption philosophy and provide products and experiences that meet their needs. After starting to sell leftover blind boxes, the blind box has become the best publicity platform for new products in the store. Every time a new dim sum is made, it is sold at a low price with the blind box. The publicity effect is better than spending money to advertise. A bag of blind boxes can radiate 100 or 200 potential customers. Chen Kiki, who is the manager of the bakery, said. For the catering industry, embracing the innovative business model of leftover blind boxes not only helps to reduce inventory and costs, but also achieves better promotional effects, enabling businesses and young consumers to achieve mutual benefit and win-win results. However, it is worth noting that as an emerging business form, leftover blind boxes still have regulatory deficiencies in terms of food safety and quality. The nature of blind boxes leaves a lack of guarantee for the quality of dishes, and the freshness and cleanliness of temporary food still require institutionalized monitoring and management.